In Illustrator 221, there's a great new feature of repeat, and there's radial, there's grid, and there's mirror. And in this example, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the mirror. Now, not everything works brilliantly with the mirror or the other ones as well. Things like symbols seem to have a problem. I've tried symbol, you go to symbol spray and try to add symbols, they don't work. But normal pass, type, pen tool, brush strokes, etc. Effects such as bevels, all those things work really well with the mirror feature. And I'm just going to come out of this. Now, this is an object. This is a mirror repeat object. So if you go over here to, you're in isolation mode. Now, I'm going to go right back to the start. So I'll show you how to create this. Well, something similar, obviously. I'm not going to create exactly that. Properties panels, very useful because it does have the repeat option on there. So let's just come all the way out and I'm going to delete that that object, I don't want that object. So move that slightly away, and now I'm just gonna, now it needs an object to start with. It needs an object, so if it doesn't, you can't go to the repeat option and then use it and work with it from that. It needs an object to start with, so it's slightly odd, but I'm just gonna select one object there, just that. Now what you can do, object, and the reason I say it's slightly weird, because once you go into the repeat, so down here, object menu, repeat and mirror, so you can see it's duplicated there. Now I can remove this. So now I can just say delete. So it's exactly the same in the sense you've got this repeat object and you've got this repeat line here. But it's uh, you can have a completely empty repeat area. Though of course I think you'd probably find it'd be very hard to edit it once you're outside because there wouldn't be an object to click on. But, so, but what you can do, you can modify settings here. Now, I would suggest you work predominantly on the left side. Sometimes, for some weird reason, it suddenly allows you to work on the right side as well as the left side, and work on both sides. But at the start point, and with some of the tools, for some weird reason, it doesn't allow you to work on one side or the other, only on the left side. It's a bit of a quirk in the, the tool. And there's also quirks sometimes where you draw an object and draw an object over the line. If you draw, say, go out into the line, I'm just gonna go into, all the other objects will disappear. I've noticed that a few times as well. So it's like, there are slight quirks in it. So it's not 100% totally there, I think, as a tool, but it's still pretty useful. So I've just got this sign and see where you move it. Now, of course, you could, an easier way to do repeats is, of course, just to create a load of objects and then select them and then duplicate that set and then flip that using transforms. But of course this is live, which makes it a lot easier. So once you've done that, what you can do, you can add other objects as well. So I'm just going to go to pen tool, so you can see pen tool. Now you can see that design there. Now I can go over here, and you see it won't add it. It's not there, though it is actually there, but it just doesn't, you don't see it. So I'm just going to remove that. Don't, so it's always best to work on the left side. Sadly, there's no feature to let you define which side to work on by default. That would be nice, so you could sort of say, I want to work on the right side. Maybe that works best for you, because that's the thing. Why should it be on the left side? Because some artists might like working on that right side. But there's no option for that, unfortunately, as far as I'm aware. So you can see you can create design, you also use curvature as well. And if you change the colors, you can go over here to properties. So I'm just gonna change things, just change it green. So you've got their green, and also you can use type. So where's the type tool there? I'll just touch type, so type tool. You can see then you've got type over there. You can obviously resize, and as you do that, it will change. You can move it around, and you can apply effects as well. So if you want to, just go over here to effects, apply extrude and bevel. When you resize that, you can see that being mirrored over there, and rotate it, you can see that move like that. Now. Once you've done that, you can also use brush strokes. Uh, no, this is brush tool, just to quickly add brush stroke. Now, again, you can see so you can do it over there, but it won't work. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you can add on that right side. Very baffling. Also, what you can do, you can move the object towards that. It will go over there, and you can see you've got the, you can also rotate. and you can go crush into there, and you can see you end up with that. And you can see, obviously, some of it is hidden. Now, that's probably what's happening. It's hiding everything in that left side. So, here's that. Now, 
I'm just going to resize that. What you can do, you can come out. If you want to, you can come straight out. So just come out, and now you've got this object here. Just move that over there. And you can resize it, you can apply effects, you can duplicate it, you can hold down the Alt Option key, and you can duplicate it. You've still got this. Now, this line, you can't edit it at this point. You can't go to here and try and move anything. That doesn't work. You need to double click, double click, and into the object. It doesn't matter what you click, where you click, which side, it will go into the thing. And then you can go onto a particular object there. And you can move that around. And you can go to the actual individual objects where you can see here rectangle. So I can edit the rectangle. Now, unfortunately, I have to come out before I can go to that object and select that. And I can move that around, push that out there, make it bigger if I want, and move that around. So you can do a whole range of editing and tweak it, modify the font. So you decide, I don't want that, I want that one instead. And then once you've done all that editing on this mirror, you can come out. Oh, just before I do that, I want to show you, you can also move this around. So you can move that, you can change the angle. And if you want to set that back, the easiest way is just go over here to the properties, which you can find in the window menu. And you can say properties down here, obviously. And then you can go to here and you can set it to 180 or set it to 90, which is put it back to what it was the default. And also you can move this as well. So you can push the spacing out, the distance. So you can also blend that in like that. And you can see then the objects are hidden. You can still see them there. If you hover over, they're just not editable. You can re-modify that like that. And then of course, what you can do, you can come out. But this object also, what you can do, if you want, what you can do, you can go to object menu and you can go down to repeat again and you can use maybe mirror again. So, so I'm just going to better just make rotate. I'm going to make rotation there, then go to object, repeat, and mirror. So I can create another one. So you can see this mirror line. That's set. You've got that mirror line still there. This mirror line. And you can can't, unfortunately, you can't move. You be able, I think it should another feature that I think would be nice is you should be able to move it anywhere on the line, but you have to do the control points. So there's the control point there. You can move that around. Now, if you want to edit these ones. You have to double click and now you can go down and modify that if you want to add that. And you can see it's all live as well. Makes it slightly complicated when you do mirror repeats or mirror repeats, but not you can do it. I just wanted to show you you can, more than it being particularly the easiest way of working. Now you've obviously got this design, but what you can also do, you can resize that mirror of mirror of a mirror. And then what you can do, you can go to object menu and repeat and radial. So you don't have to go with the mirror. You could do mirror again, mirror, mirror. Sounds like a song coming. However, radial. So you've got the radial. You can change the number of instances. And of course, instant here with mirror, in the sense it does create exact this radial option with two, obviously creates exactly the same. So it's very similar. Don't you can't do the angles, etc. But it's still and then you can do it with four, you can change the four there, and you can see your design there. And also you can change the distance, so you can move that around, and it's all still live. So if you want to edit it, you can still see, just say, oh, you know what, I want to change that one. So double click, and you can go into there. And you, of course, can go there, you can resize it, and it will still be editable. Double click on that, and you see you get this line. Now what you can do, you can turn around and say, I want to change this. So you can rotate the mirror line as well, which is so you can just rotate those and you can see you get more or less there, which is quite nice. And then once you've done all that, the mirror repeat, radial repeat, go all the way out again and back to this design, which you can then still continue to modify these settings and rotate it, etc. And you can see all the settings over here as well. And of course, what you can do once you've done all this, you can go to effects and maybe add, say, a blur to the whole thing. And it's just because it's a standard object. Now, at this point, repeat object expanded. At this point, it's lost the repeat. So obviously, it can only go so far. There is a certain point where it just can't do it. But I'm just going to undo, so I get it back again. So that's 
back again and you can still modify these settings. So it's a great new feature, mirror option in uh, the repeat via the object menu in Illustrator 2021. It's not available in 2020, 2019, etc. Just released in January. So uh, I think it's a great feature for all kinds of lovely designs. And of course, once you've created this design, you can save it and then import them into Photoshop and use them in Photoshop. Now that would be a lovely feature to have a similar sort of feature, a radial feature like this in Photoshop. But I suspect, well, who knows? I always wish, but, but you could at least now in Illustrator, it's a great new tool that's uh, really good. That I love using. So hope you found this interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, obviously Illustrator 2021, Photoshop, Filthy Photo, Critter, Painter Rebel, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? Maybe I did something a bit too quick, didn't understand what I was doing. Please let me know, and then I'll do another video. Go through it and try and maybe sort of go to a particular subject and really focus on that for that tutorial. So let me know, or if something you think, you know what, you're doing something wrong, and there's, or I missed something out even, just let me know, and I will do another tutorial on that subject. Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.